Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm going to review and install this KMC Smart Wi-Fi Light Switch. Um, it is complete with its own cover plate. A um, little bit unique in that it doesn't have the screws in the front face, so we're going to have to actually pop this unit off of the back uh, to do our install and screw it into our outlet wall plate. So I'll show you how to do all that. Let's get started. Now to remove the front cover plate from the back, I'm just going to take a flathead screwdriver here and pry under here to pop it off, um, just like so. It's a little bit scary, but uh, it comes off and it'll just snap back on. So we're ready to go and head over to our fuse box. The first thing we want to do is go to the circuit breaker box and turn our circuit off. Okay, we're at our switch box, and what I like to do before I start pulling the wires out is to check it with a current checker like this one. They're fairly inexpensive, and you can pick one up for just a few bucks. I'll have a link to a description below of where you can find one on Amazon, but you press this, it makes a beep to show that the battery check is still working, the battery's good if you hear that single beep. And then what you do is just kind of probe around these wires, and if it starts beeping crazily, like beep, 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 that means that you've got hot current and your switch really still has not had the power turned off so it's a good thing to invest in one of these it could save you from being electrocuted okay we've got our hot wire wired to our overhead lamp neutral and we have our ground here so we're going to hook all those up to the switch here and use the wire nuts that were supplied At this point you can see we've got all the wires connected and capped. We're going to push all the wires into the box now and get our two screws to mount the switch into the box. All right, you can see I got the two screws on here and I'm gonna go turn the power back on at the circuit breaker and then we'll put our faceplate cover on. You can see I've got the power on now and there's a little bit of a blue glow here in the switch. Might turn my studio lights off so you can see. Maybe a little better pretty cool looking let's configure it now with our phone okay now we've got to configure our Wi-Fi switch to work with our system and so the app I'm using today is Tuya smart although these will also work with Alexa and they will also work with other home automation systems like home assistant so I open up my Tuya app and then in the upper right corner you want to hit the plus sign so we're going to add a new device and it's going to ask what kind of device we're we looking for. We're going to do a wall switch. Confirm it's blinking. Well, it's just solid blue, but that's fine. So we're going to look for this. And I have to uh, put in my Wi-Fi password, so I'm going to skip over this for a second. Okay, now it searches for the device. I'm going to bring my phone a little closer to that switch. As you guys could see, I uh, got it all configured there. So, switches off, switches on. Um, the way I got it to go into configure mode is I had to push and hold that switch until it started flashing fast blue on the switch itself. So, that's good, it's working. All right, so now for the final test, put our faceplate on here. Um, see you maybe noticed that the light already went on and off this faceplate it's a little bit scary to work with to get it to snap and click all right so that does it for the smart plug guys hope you learned something if you did please give me a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button and check the links below for where you can purchase this switch online this is John from John's DIY playground have a great day